How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, musical warriors? It is Mr. Mashmire and Mr. Barry, also known as Gunny Crash and Barry Sachs. We are coming to you on this fine Monday morning, February the 1st, and man, is it cold outside. How cold is it? It's cold. So anyway, today is a great day because we are going to talk about my favorite genre, and one of my favorite artists to listen to in that genre, his name is Bob Seger. And we're going to listen to some old-time rock and roll. And ladies and gentlemen of the band and choir, we are listening for what genre we think it is. My lord, it's in the title. We are listening for the five rhythm instruments, one wind instrument, and two singers. Uh, well, there's more than two singers, but two things about singers. And we are going to also try to find the five genres that Bob sings about in this song that's not rock and roll. So here we go. We are going to start our presentation. We're going to listen to the studio version of Bob Seger, Old Time Rock and Roll. If you're following along on our YouTube channel, this would be Bob Seger, Old Time Rock and Roll Lyrics, three minutes and 10 seconds. So you'll have to watch it on your own because copyright won't let me show it to you. So here we go. While we get ready to start, you can be subscribing to our channel. All right, Mr. Barry. All right, here we go. Ready, and one, two, ready, and... So, let's do a little bit of talking. What do we think this genre is? Okay, it is rock and roll. Yes, that is so, correct. Um, blues is a major influence on rock and roll music. So know that it's kind of bluesy it's bluesy rock not rock and blues mike i wrote rock and blues rock and roll okay now here's a couple things about rock and roll that you might not under realize okay a lot of times nowadays when we refer to rock and roll all three words we're usually talking about older rock and roll music like the song that we just listened to from the 70s or the 60s or even the 80s okay when we say rock we're generally talking about newer rock within the last 20 years, okay? Now, like jazz and ragtime being an idiom underneath the umbrella of jazz, there are a whole bunch of idioms within the umbrella of rock and roll. And that could be uh, hard rock, heavy metal, death metal, symphonic gothic metal. Um, but there's also rock and roll can anybody tell me where the the originated terminology that we got rock and roll from what genre do you think that came from this one might surprise you all right i'm seeing some stumped looks so rock and roll actually started out as rockabilly and rockabilly came from country music and the reason why it was called rockabilly is because these country singers rocked up the song and a DJ referred to it as rockabilly and the name stuck. Okay, rockabilly then became rock and roll and then it split from country partially because of all the influences of the blues. Okay. Blues influenced rock and roll after it broke from country music and uh, soul influenced rock and roll. And so we get a lot of these uh, many different, there's even some jazz mixed into the rock and roll because just like on this song, we had a, a wind instrument solo. So that's a holdover from jazz. Speaking of wind instruments, what instrument do you think that was that was playing that solo that we talked about? The one wind instrument in this recording. It was not a tuba. 
Yes, ma'am. It was a saxophone. And though we have not talked about the different types of saxophones, there are three main types, actually four main types that we're going to talk about eventually. Um, this one happens to be the tenor saxophone. Um, and when we listen to the live version, you're going to see it. Uh, there is the soprano saxophone, which is really easy to see. It's generally straight. Okay. There are some curved tenor or curved sopranos, but usually a soprano sax looks like a big clarinet, a big gold clarinet. Then you have the alto saxophone, which just has a little bend in it, and then the bell comes up. Then you have the tenor sax, which has a long bend in it, then the bell comes up. And then you have the berry sax, which has a loop at the top and is a lot bigger. So those are the four types of saxophones that we are going to learn. All right, so let's move on to our rhythm instruments. What rhythm instruments did we hear, gang? Let's start with the obvious one. What we get from the beat? Anybody? Okay, we got... Uh, yes, Jarrell, there is some guitars in there. In fact, two, three types of guitars in there. Can you be a little more... General, you said, uh, what did you say, Jarrell? You said, okay, there is an electric yes. and there is an acoustic. Very good. Okay, there's still one more type of guitar in there that goes along with the other rhythm instrument that we haven't named yet. Anybody? Come on, think about it. Come on. What? What were we getting the beats from? Okay, it was from the drum set. So there is another. Okay. Yes, Darrell. What goes? Darrell, Darrell has it. it. Is the bass guitar? All right, Darrell over here on the choir side said the bass guitar, which is the third guitar that we have, and we have one more rhythm instrument. One more rhythm instrument. Uh, we talked about it on Thursday when Mr. Joplin was playing it. What is that called? Piano. Very good, Azaria, over here on the band side. And you heard in the recording an acoustic piano, which means just a regular piano. They were not playing uh, a keyboard or uh, an organ. Um, it was an actual piano. Okay, so now we've covered... The wind instrument we've covered all five of the rhythm instrument let's talk about the singers what did you hear let's start with the obvious thing was it male was it female was there a lead was there a lead who was singing okay. uh, who was singing the lead? over here says male so Bob Seeger, that's a pretty good indicator. I don't know many women that go by the name Bob, though Roberta, every once in a while, sometimes does go by Bob. So we had a male lead singer. Okay. I just put that in. Did we have any background singers? Yes or no? Hmm. Interesting. Are you sure? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to watch the second video. And you're going to decide on what background singers, if there are any, that you see or hear. And then we're also going to remember when we get done, we are going to talk about the other genres that he sings about. So this is going to give you one more chance to listen for any genres that you may have missed when you were watching the lyrics go by. So we are going to watch a great live recording from 1983. I do want to point something out to you. Remember in the studio version, it starts out with the piano. John, 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 John. You're going to notice that it actually starts out with other instruments. So this would be known as an, an arrangement of the song. Okay. So you're going to hear... In the very beginning, two very good electric guitar players with a bass drum and some other stuff on the drum set in the background. Ready when you are, Mr. Barry. All right, here we go. Ready. I think you're going to have to back one, it up. One, two, you're have to back ready. It up. 
zero. And you're going to have to back it up to zero, Mr. Barry. Oh. <laughs> you're at the end of the song. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? One, one, two, ready, and. Okay, Detroit, you can sing along with this one if you want to. All right. That was some good stuff right there. So, so I know because we just talked about it. I gotta stop this thing. Okay, I know that we just because we just talked about what we were hearing. So were there background singers? Were yeah. there background singers? There was. Were was it men, women, both? Okay, right. so there were male and female background singers. All right. Now in the in the studio, it was it was kind of kind of a little bit more difficult to hear, but you can definitely see it on the video. Uh, there were three females in the background that were doing nothing but dancing and singing. Okay, uh, let me see. The piano player was singing, the drummer was singing, the bass guitarist was singing, and the lead guitarist at the end sang. So there were actually three female and four male background singers going on at the same time. Okay, so that answers that question. All right, what about the genres that Bob sang about other than rock and roll? What do you think they were? The first verse had one of them. Don't try to take me to a... Yes, thank you, Santana Disco. Look the lyrics on their phone. So, so Santana answered Disco okay. on the chat here, so that is correct. So, don't try to take me to a disco. You'll never even get me out. Thank you, Santana. Soul was most definitely one. Blues was another. Ten minutes, I'll be late for uh, what old soul? He says another genre. He says funky old earlier and starts with a T. That's right, it is tango. Okay. He did not like two of them. He he didn't like disco. Okay, because he he talks about it. He says, You'll never see me at a disco. You'll never even get me out on the floor. Okay. And he also says, You'll never hear me playing tango. I'd rather play some blues. Our funky old soul. So there's our five genres that Bob. So just to recap, we have we have gotten our genre, which is in the title of the song. We have gotten the five rhythm instruments that we heard. Okay, mm -hmm. that was drums, bass guitar, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, and piano. We got our wind instrument which was the tenor saxophone, and we even saw a white jumpsuit wearing shoulder shrugging guy playing some good solo of that and we also got our singers okay we had the male lead singer that was bob seeger himself and then we had our three female and four male background singers so if you were smart enough to write all that stuff down while we were talking about it now all you got to do is transfer it on to your assignment okay and there is a couple of you that we need to get uh, some assignments turned back in because they either need to be resubmitted or you haven't done them yet. But first, we're going to do a real quick sign off for you. So, Mr. Barry, take it away. All right, guys. Peace out. We love you guys and we'll see you again tomorrow.